I mean, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of the mentality, but like, so, I mean, but the whole purpose of this conversation to begin with is like, you know, it is what it is, is the fact that like legitimately boomers should have left all this fucking wealth to their kids. Right. Like you know, all these houses that they bought, all the places that they had, it should have went to their fucking kids. And it didn't. It's now on a reverse mortgage, allowing them to live the rest of their lives because their 401k, they noticed only lasts in like a year and a half, two years once they fucking actually retired. That's the fucking issue in the end of the day. I and mean, I don't know, man. I feel like a bigger issue is that they actually sold out the profitability of the country to essentially large corporations that are just going to take the business overseas and just sell shit back to you that much cheaper, but they're not bringing anything back into the economy. Well, yeah. Well, when's the last time? Hijacked. Go ahead, man. When, when's the last time we, we've actually used antitrust laws? That's the uh, big question that I've Microsoft. always been wondering myself. Microsoft. Oh, yeah, yeah, when Microsoft refused to bribe the government. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, the 1990s, fucking, you know what I mean? They did that shit. But, like, all right, so, like, corporatism kind of, like, liberalism, and again, like, liberalism is corporatism. Like, motherfuckers, like, think that they're two separate things. They are the same thing, right? Because, like, yo, liberalism comes out of the merchant class. Right. You know, I mean, because like liberalists were motherfucking like they were fighting against the fucking monarchs and the states that, you know, I mean, they came up against. And so like fucking these liberalists were, you know what I'm saying, the merchant class of these fucking cities, the aristocracy. And like they've literally destroyed all the culture and heritage inside of this fucking country in the past fucking like 60 years at this point. Right. Go back to the 1960s. And they have stood here and destroyed everything. You know, what I mean, that like we had as a culture, as a heritage, as you know, what I'm saying our fucking basic humanness, I guess. Humanity, our basic humanity was like basically just stripped out and sold to the fucking highest bidder. Right. And it's to be expected because of, you know, I mean, liberalism is fucking cancer. Right. And I think that's another reason why liberalism failed. You know, what I mean, like because Malcolm X was right. <laughs> Legit. Like, yo, you shouldn't stand here and beg for a plate at somebody else's table because you're just going to destroy yourself. And we shouldn't all be considering ourselves down on our luck billionaires because we're not. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not I consider myself I consider myself down on my luck, but definitely not a billionaire. <laughs> oh, the thing is it's not that it's not that they destroyed it. It's they started out with demonizing it and dismantling it. So I don't I don't think they destroyed it at all. I think they actually took it and manipulated it and utilized it to their own personal gain and profit. And people who were unaware of what was going on because it, for one reason or another it just allowed it to happen because they didn't understand like you're being, you're being taken for a fool. You're, yeah, you know, you're getting a pennies on the dollar paycheck right now, but you don't see the long-term implications of how detrimental and how devastating this is going to be to society in the long run. You're just doing it for a quick paycheck. And now we're suffering the consequences of it. Yeah. Look, man, yo, the man show, my brother, fascism is not a real thing. All right. Understand something. Um, Fascism, okay, has never actually been it. It was an Italian name for a political party, right? It's it's like saying uh, like bull moose, right? When it comes to goddamn fucking Theodore Roosevelt, right? You know, legit, like it's it's literally just a name of an Italian fucking you know what I mean political group that wanted to stand here and reinvigorate the country through the ideologies of fucking nationalism, right? But fascism is not. A real thing like yo, it's, it's just not it, it doesn't exist all right and there's a reason why like yo you if, if i stood here and i asked you what a monarchy was or a democracy or a republic or a communist society or a society a fucking social or a socialist society right you'd be able to like at least name one thing Right. Like you'd be able to name like one part of that fucking government that would exist out of all of them. Right. You'd at least have one thing that would exist. When you say fascism, there's not a fucking thing you can name. Right. Because like, you know, legitimately, like, you know, like there is there is nothing. Right. Because it doesn't exist. Right. Because it's not a real fucking thing. It's literally like, yo, know, fascism is what they call anything that's anti fucking liberal. 
in the end of the day. And I'm still waiting for a clearly defined uh, parameter of what what is a fascist government because it's not I real. Keep it's not getting real. conflicting information. It's not real. We've had this. Me and you, we've all had this conversation. Every one of us in this in this fucking chat's had this conversation because it's not a real thing. Like me and Doku, we got into this last time we talked, right? Like, and we have we still like we're like, yeah, it's not real because literally all it is is the name of an Italian motherfucking goddamn political party. I mean, it's. It's an effective smear term, but that's about the best I can come up with. Because what well, what what is fascism? It, it is it nationalism? Is it socialism? Is it is it communism? Because there there are aspects of communism to fascism. Is it corporatism? Well, there's aspects of that too. FD, it, FDR was a fascist by fascist like fucking you know what I mean goddamn fucking uh, like like definitions. I, I can't even FDR, say that it's, FDR was more of a fascist than Hitler or Mussolini was. Well, I can't even say that it's an effective like warmongering platform because, well, we've had better warmongering platforms than fascism, which <laughs> is <just> called Maoism. <laughs> it's not a real thing because it's not real, right? It's not a real thing. <laughs> uh, and and <laughs> Alex, Alex, I'm going to disagree with you about uh, its government control. No, fascism technically is not government control because if it's if if the Nazi Party is indeed a thing, then it's socialism and nationalism, which is antithetical to government control. So that can't be fascist. Hey, not, what I, is you're fascism? You know, the menace show. No, like fascism is not a real thing. It's just not right. OK, so like you have to understand Italy's fucking politics. Right. No, no, no menace. That's not it. Right. That's not it at all. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's corporatism. So like, all right, um, Italy, Italy in a political sense has like a very hard divide, right, between the north and the south. Um, and so the only way to get both of them really to work together, the only time like they ever have like a functional fucking government as a whole is when you start bringing up the Roman Empire, right? <laughs> because every Italian's heart swells with pride when you start mentioning the Romans, right? Because we all go, yeah, we were Roman. Like, oh, we fucked the rest of the world. We gave the world civilization and we were the best and we conquered everybody. Oh, we're fucking great and all this type of shit. And that is the only way to get North and South Italy to fucking come together. And so, like, every time we do that, which, by the way, they've done this recently with, like, fucking Five Star and, um, yo, of Doku. What was the other joint? Fuck it, do you remember? Oh, fuck. I'm trying to remember. Um, it was like I don't five remember, man. was one other one. But yeah, like legit, like they're, all their ads are just full of like fucking Roman ideologies and gladiator clips and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like your niggas going strength and honor, right? <laughs> you know, I, I, will, I will say this. If I, if I was forced... Prop gun to my head, if I was forced to define fascism, it would be anything that is in opposition to Marxism. Because that's the only consistent <laughs> thing I can actually pick out. It, it's no, just it's anything. Really. Well, that's well, that's the reason I say it's anything that's antithetical to Marxism. It's just a it's a blanket term that people <laughs> use to smear people and say, oh, they're they're the bad guys. And it's it always comes from far left Marxist. It, I don't see anybody else trying to clearly define fascism. And when they do, it always comes again from far left Marxists that are trying to demonize someone who doesn't agree with far left, Mar uh, far left Marxism. That's the well, only right. consistent part I can find. Right. I mean, like, yo, so this, this is, this is kind of like my mentality about shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's not like, no, not even really, like, yo, because I've heard other motherfuckers use the fascist shit. Like, yo, you, I'll be honest, you have a big Twitter, right? Like, you have a giant-ass Twitter joint. So, like, you deal with the left way more than I do, right? Because I don't really have an opportunity to deal with them a whole lot. So, like, a lot of the times when I'm arguing, I'm arguing with, like, fucking neocons and neoliberals, right? You know, I mean, like, I'm dealing with, like, normies. And normies, like, use that fascist term all the fucking time, too. But it's because, like, yo, our fucking goddamn education system is trash. And nobody knows anything about any place but here. Right? Whereas, like, I'm paying attention to, like, what's going on in Europe. You know what I'm saying? And, like, the fucking, you know, like, 
the guy over there in fucking Hungary and shit and like Victor Orban or whatever and like the motherfucker down in Brazil and shit and then like a dude's over in motherfucking, you know, uh, the guy up there and the Dutch dude who was trying to run as a fucking white supremacist, neo-Nazi, fucking anti-fucking immigration motherfucker, right? Like I pay attention to everything that's going on all over the place and I, I stand here and I go, man, listen, like you got to understand that like <clears throat> if you don't like understand a nation and you try to like quote something that comes to it yeah right like fucking so fascism all right so menace fascism is literally the same term as faggot right it's a bundle of sticks binded together <laughs> right you know what i mean yo alex chung here's the thing though right yo that's every government <laughs> legit does anybody well, want to pay that, taxes no that's no one the thing i can taxes. Right. I, I can take the term fascism and I could say we could be collectivist, we could be nationalist, we could be communist, we could be capitalist. I mean, define fascism for me. It's, it's not a real thing. Right. Again, like, yo, this is the whole point. Like, yo, fascism is just an Italian nationalist party, right? Which they have all the fucking time. Every election, there's a nationalist party of fucking Italy because it's the only party that can actually win and have the North and the South come together on it. It's the only one. La, La Liga. It's La Liga and uh, motherfucking Five Star, right? We're the two parties here recently, right? So well, that you have, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, yeah. that's the thing. It was only, you only saw Antifa, the anti-fascist, anti-fascisto come up in response to fascism when you saw hyper-nationalists, it, again, collectivism, start pushing back against Frankfurt-style Marxism. It, that's really the only, again, the only defining factor I can find that has held true is fascist essentially means I'm not Marxist. It no, no, okay. So, like, here's the problem. Like, all right. So, when you stand here and have a nationalist mentality, right, and want to have, um, like, fucking individual, when you have a nationalist mentality, want to look out for your people, right? That is anti corporatist, which is anti liberal, right? And so, these giant liberal company uh, countries. Who, you know what I'm saying, their people don't care about, you know what I'm saying, like their heritage or their fucking country or their people or their fucking communities or their families like us, right? Where we will fucking stand here and sacrifice everything at the means of fucking profit. Like, yeah, we will, everything in our whole fucking society is up for grabs if it means we can turn a buck, right? We will run over the fucking fascist in the world, you know what I'm saying, with our fucking military and shit and with our, you know what I'm saying, like... Uh, our fucking our hard power throughout the world and our trades abilities and fucking our ability to stand here and go to the UN and dictate terms and things of this nature, right? Because like yo, we don't want any country where legitimately we can't fucking just have people go in there and do trade and be free to be able to fuck them, right? You know what I'm saying? And this is the goddamn problem in the end of the day. And this is the shit that, like, yo, fucking, like, motherfuckers really don't understand, right? It's the liberal order, the motherfuckers led by, like, fucking England and, you know what I'm saying, fucking France and shit versus, you know I mean, everybody the fuck else. And, I mean, this is why, like, we had such a problem in places like Afghanistan and Iran. It's why we have problems, like, you know, with people like Iran or Iraq or Syria or whatever. Because, like, legit, they don't want to just do business on the fact of doing business, they have cultures and heritages and values. And we fucking hate that shit because like, yo, it gets in the way of motherfuckers turning a fucking profit. That I can disagree with because it, I know. we, we, we have, we have two aspects of society where, well, to be blunt, I might piss some people off here by saying this, but it's a reason that people don't like, uh, the more traditionalist aspect of political parties here in the United States, when somebody comes in and says, mm, I don't really care about your corporatist bullshit. I don't care about your globalist bullshit. I don't care about your bottom line. I don't care about your profit margin. I'll actually go out of my way and I'll lose fucking money because I care about culture, customs, and traditions. I'm a nationalist and I'm a populist. And that all of a sudden gets people's penny in a, in a bunch really fucking quick. But if, if that's what fascism is, 
That's you know what? what? It it's that, it's better. That's, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Well, then it's better than globalism, corporatism, and Marxism. Yeah, I know. Right? You know what I'm saying? This is why, like, you know, I, we're kind of politically homeless and shit. Right? You know what I mean? Because of the fact that, like, you know... <laughs> Like, I'm not a reactionary, right? Because, like, I don't believe in the ideology of having a king because I think that's fucking retarded, right? And I can't be a communitarian, a communitarian, communitarian, right? Mostly because I can't pronounce the word. But secondly, right, because... Of the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that was the requirement, Tom, well, you'd definitely be uh, voted off the tribe. Right. Well, secondly, like, because uh, of the fact that, like, most of these motherfuckers are, like, you know, like Harvard... You know, what I mean, in Yale and whatever fucking fuckheads, right? Go ahead, PK. Go ahead, my nigga. You like we all are reactionaries in that we are reacting to liberalism. Mm. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, right? But I mean, like yeah, reactionary in like, well, reactionary in like the classical sense of reactionary, right? Which is, you know, what I'm saying, like fucking when a reactionary is usually an individual who is moving from the like traditional right wing, which is like the royalty, uh, fucking monarchy type of ideology. You know what I'm saying? That's a reactionary. More authoritarian. No, no, no. It's a reactionary, right? So <clears throat> Hitler was a reactionary, right? Uh, Mussolini was a reactionary. These are individuals who wanted to have, you know, what I mean, uh, fucking. Uh, Fidel Castro was a reactionary. People who became what kings, right? Basically, in all but fucking name, right? This is that's what reactionary is, right? It's fucking when you're trying to have one man in charge, right? That's a reactionary movement. That's literally like like that's that's a political definition. It's not you know what I'm saying? Like actually, like oh, we're just reacting to some shit. That's like the political definition of it and shit, right? Yeah. Oh, so, I would move in towards the authoritarian side of the spectrum. I, I I would say it's more of a it's more of a pushback what to a revolution. It when you when you see a rapid and extreme change in a culture or society and you react as a response to it, I would say that's a reactionary. I don't necessarily think it has to entail becoming a authoritarian or even it is, oligarchical. It is. It is. It is. I mean, I think, it lends it, I think it lends live, itself to that, but I don't no, no, think no, no, that we, we, live, we live in an oligarchy, right? You know what I'm saying? Like we're react when you're reactionary, you usually tend to be against an oligarchy or an aristocracy. Oh, I'm right? I'm not saying we don't live in an oligarchy right now. I'm just think I'm just saying that in terms of the reaction to an extreme societal Class, change. Classical, it's, it's, no, no, it's a classical political definition, right? It's like saying you're um, you're a fucking progressive or a liberal or whatever it is, right? Like, yo, being a progressive doesn't mean that, like, you're actually trying to progress shit. There's tons of progressive motherfucking ideologies inside of progressive fucking movements, right? But, like, what I'm saying is, is, like, there's just a term of definitions of what a reactionary is already to begin with. You understand? Okay, that's fair. I'll give you that. When, when you say reactionary, it literally means you're trying to reinstate the fucking monarchy. Yeah, that's, the, that's what that means. Well, his historically, neo reactionary is is better. But like, I would say it's then, more of a knee jerk. Right, right. It, but then neo reactionism is dominated by like mole bugs type uh, of ideology and a bunch of other people, uh, and. Hey, what up? Let it, I'll, just, I'll, just but, say, I'll just make sure you recognize him. You saw your ass nigga, right? You know what I mean? Fucking like, yeah, I'm just you know, like, yo, a reactionary throughout history as a whole has always been an individual trying to reinstall the motherfucking monarchy. It's kind of the deal, right? And it's always sir, a right wing, like a French right wing. You know what I'm saying? Sir, like a I, French House, House of Commons right wing, you know what I'm talking about? The French Parliament sir, right wing. I, I get what you're saying, and I would say that happens more frequently because traditionally that's the type of societal structure that we've had for good reason, in my opinion. But it, I still would argue that it's a knee-jerk reaction in the opposite direction, and I think it could go the opposite direction. It's just it doesn't happen nearly as frequently because, as this topic of conversation has discussed, the progressive liberalism mindset idea of things falls apart far quicker than – the alternative. So you I think don't, that, you don't I think that, that has to do with response. the fact uh, is that it's built on the idea of progress itself, but progress is not always a straightforward road. 
like we just recently had that conversation on discord here um where some fucking troll was coming and trying to promote the idea of a uh, liquid nitrogen battery and while the idea has merit into and of itself in solving uh energy storage problems it's still an untested concept so like when you come when you think of liberalism in terms of uh progress um moving forward you know you're gonna find stumbling blocks it's gonna be like one step forward two steps back and then eventually you'll kind of reach that breakthrough where it's three steps forward and it's all for the better but the the thing is that they're trying to implement all these new ideas at once and it's not working because you can't implement all these new ideas at once well, it's not it's not that you're fighting against human nature, but fucking Jim McIntosh, the league um, gaming. I said La Liga, right, which is an Italian political party, which is like a nationalist right wing anti-immigration party. Right. Um, and I mean, it's fucking it's called La Liga. And he said the uh, gaming and yelling went the league. Right. Yeah, that that's that's what it was called. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just just one of the you know, I mean, put that motherfucking out there. So you understand the exactly league. It's the literal, literal translation. <laughs> the league, La Liga. Right. It's just like um, Ferrari came out. All right. They had like a fucking supercar war in like about uh, I want to say five or six years ago, something like that. Where Ferrari, Porsche, and McLaren all came out. They had the McLaren P1, the Porsche 918 Spider, and motherfucking uh, Ferrari, La Ferrari, right? It's the Ferrari, the Ferrari, <laughs> right? You know what I'm like saying? The all, Ferrari, like, the Ferrari of yeah, all Ferraris, Italian, the super Ferrari of them all. Italians, Italians are weird, right? At the end of the day, we, we name things on, on the odd ways, right? But um, all right. So progress or progress sakes will always bring our risk. That's that's not it, right? So the issue is is that you cannot continue to treat human beings as if they're not humans, right? That's the problem. And that's why liberalism is failing is because liberalism is treating human beings like they're not human, right? You can't classify a human being as uh you know what I mean, as something other than a fucking animal that has to live and breathe and, you know what I mean, fucking work and eat and all these type of things. Like, they're all encompassed as well as, like, you know what I mean, love and fucking have somebody talk to you. It's why, like, if you have a baby and you don't touch it, it will die, right? You know what I'm saying? That's kind of, it, that's kind of what it's hitting for. They've been trying to turn people into an asset, like an actual, like, bank asset. Yeah, basically. That and on top yeah. of that, like, they've been trying to divorce you from your fucking community and your family, right? In the name of motherfucking standing here, giving you an opportunity to become part of an aristocracy that really doesn't give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? But it will fucking create a larger merchant class, which fucking will stand here and vote for, you know what I mean, the fucking means of the merchant class. Which well, I gotta say, they did a they did a good job of separating me from my community. The problem is, is they cast me out of it. So, ha, huh, there I go. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's yo, Jacob, go back to the beginning of this bitch. Like, legit, this is worth this whole thing's worth listening to. You know what I'm saying? 